Tom Pittenger here. I am going to show you the Reflow oven for making PCBs. This is my dry run. Just put it together, testing it all before I put it together. So I got the little rocket screen. I got this little controller board. Um, I've drilled out a socket for this, for the Dremel. Have it set on stay on and bake. The bake is for the convection part, which is a little fan which blows air around on the inside too, there's a little fan in there. I have the thermal pile at the, in the middle there. <clears throat> I got the relay that's in series to the system, but I have this wall wart that's in parallel to the wall outlet here. And that is on the surge protector here or the switch, so I can turn the thing on and off easily enough. And here we go. Turn it on and reflow oven 1.2. Okay, this is 35C. I had it on for a moment earlier. So I'm gonna time this thing. So I'm gonna hit the button, hit start. So it says preheat, and our little fan lights up. And this little light is on as well. So here, 35.5, 36C. Okay, so we're now pulsing it per the PID controller. So now we're soaking at 150. It's just on. Go on sixty two. Getting there. So we have three minutes have elapsed. So we're peaking somewhere around two twenty, two thirty. I don't know yet where this is set. It actually didn't, um, I didn't notice before I programmed it if I had this set for lead or PB free.
So reflow happens at about 345. We're still on, full steam ahead. Four and a half minutes. This is taking a long time to heat. There we go. Everything just shut off. So that was six and a half minutes. And we're on cooldown. Cooling. So that's uncontrolled, it just kind of cools all the way down. But it looks like it's retained the heat a little too good. Just as an experiment, I'm gonna open the front hatch up and we'll watch see how, drop it, how fast it drops. Okay, I open the front up. Whoa, yeah, that's gonna be too fast. That's yeah, don't open the front up. And that's it.